The current Florida law does allow a healthy newborn baby to be handed off to someone at a fire station or a hospital in the state up to seven days after they're born. Those baby boxes would allow a parent to surrender their child without directly handing them off. The boxes are leased out. They cost $16,000 plus a yearly maintenance fee paid to the charity. The founder of Safe Haven Baby Boxes, Monica Kelsey, says her organization doesn't take government funding and she personally does not profit from those boxes. Her goal, she says, is providing a safe, anonymous option for parents. And the boxes are an extension of what is already allowed in the state. The box just allows for anonymity. I mean, these boxes are electronically monitored. They're, um, some of our, our baby boxes has cameras inside of them, so we have eyes on baby at all times. Miami-based A Safe Haven for Newborns was established in 2000 to support what at the time was the recently passed Safe Haven law in Florida. This nonprofit opposes the use of baby boxes. A member of its advisory board telling me they believe a direct handoff between a mother and another person is needed. We are not opposed to um, the mother being able to, to surrender her baby in the way she feels most comfortable. We are opposed to the risks and the, the potential problems with the box itself. If this bill passes, it would become law July 1st. One note, though, a baby box was actually installed at a Central Florida firehouse without state authorization two years ago. Since then, one baby was surrendered there.